Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Peter from White Dragon Productions and thanks for tuning in. Today we are going uh, to check out time lapses in DaVinci Resolve. I uh, had some trouble last time importing a time lapse so I thought let's make a really quick and simple tutorial on how to do this and where the pitfalls are when it comes to importing a time lapse sequence into DaVinci Resolve. Okay, so we're here in DaVinci Resolve and as you can see, we're here in the media page. It's the first one, the media page. Now, I already have my, uh, my folder here. This is a folder with a single time lapse that is important when it comes to importing these time lapses is that it's a single um, time lapse per folder. So, and when you open this folder you can see here you can see all these pictures but it would be great if I can import this as a single file that's already made a time-lapse now you go you do that by going here right here and then go to frame display mode and then you have auto individual and sequence now you use sequence um, when you want the time lapse and you want, and you use individual if you want to import individual photos so if i click on sequence you can see here and it makes one file as you can see it's the first file until the last one and if you click it you can play it back <laughs> um my computer does not like to do that right now but as you go and And this and here is the file so you can simply import it and now you have a file that you can use right here as your time lapse put it to scale and there you go so super quick video super easy tutorial but now you know how to import a time lapse into davinci resolve and where to look if the settings don't match. Thank you for watching. Uh, consider subscribing if you find it useful and I hope to see you in the next one. Later.